Hey, deserving listeners, it's time to continue our journey with Nicole and is on a 90 Day Fiance. My name is Dr. Kirk Honda. I'm a couples therapist and a professor of couples therapy. As I always say in these videos, everything I say is total speculation. I have no idea who these people are in reality. If I was to actually assess them, I would have to sit them down for many, many hours of interviews, maybe even provide some standardized testing, standardized me measurements that we use in psychology, and also to interview other people. So everything I'm saying is speculating on very little information that is provided to us in this show. All right, let's get to the show. I can't wait. Today we are in the gym because I, that's what I want Nicole to do with me and I show her that it's a, it's a really good thing to start working out. So let's go. Okay, so there's nothing wrong, as I've been saying throughout, for someone to want their fiancé and their partner to participate in things that they like to do. Azan likes to work out and so he is wanting to bring his fiance to work out with him. And he is concerned about her health, presumably, and wants her to work out at the gym. Something wrong with that thought going through your head. There's something wrong with that preference. How, what do you do with that, though? Do you force someone? Do you pressure them? Do you tell them that you'll only like them and want to be with them if they work out and uh, change their body size? I don't know if that's implied in, in what he's saying here. So, Let's see how they navigate this. Because like I said, there's nothing wrong with, like if my wife were to say like, hey, let's go to the gym. And I'd be like, what do you mean? And she's like, well, you know, I just thought we should do as a couple. We, it'd be great to, to go to the gym. Of course, right now with the pandemic, uh, we can't do that. But uh, at least I think we can't. But anyway, so I would be, oh, okay. That, well, I wasn't really jazzed about going to the gym. But if you want to go, I'll go with you and I'll, I'll figure it out. So there's nothing wrong with something like that, right? But what if I said, like, I don't want to, or I was given a message that she didn't love me because I wasn't going to the gym, then we're looking at something different. So let's see how they manage this together. Now, from Nicole's standpoint, uh, she can have a lot of different reactions to this. She can be like, oh, okay, well, he really wants me to work out, so I, I'll do it because, you know, I've been wanting to do it anyway. So let's see if, if that's what she says. Or is she going to say something like, well, I, I'm only doing it because I'm pretty sure that he's going to leave me if I don't. So how do you feel? You can breathe. That's so because you don't go to the gym. That's because you don't work out. That's why. One. That's good. Two. That's good. Four. Five. Just you didn't get used to this stuff. That's why you feel like it's very hard. It's not that it's not that hard. So I don't know what's really going on here. Is Nicole into this? Does she want him to push him? You know, when you hire a personal trainer, this is what they do. You know, they're they're trying to pump you up and they're trying to motivate you. And while you're working out, you have that look on your face where you're just like, oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do it. And so, does Nicole appreciate this? I don't know. We we'd have to ask her. The other part to this is that he, from what he's saying wants to work at a gym. He wants to be a personal trainer in a gym. And so maybe he is getting a jump start on his skill building process by, by trying to be her personal trainer. I'm a little worried about this, but like he, Nicole said, she wants to do this. So maybe this isn't aligned with what she wants. Let's continue watching. And for myself. And for yourself. This is the first for yourself. That's good. I want you to focus, okay? Think about now after like one year or something, how you will look, you know. I, I know that I love you now, but in the future, we'll, I want like a happy and healthy family, okay? And our life will be great, okay? I want to be healthy, but I don't think I need to change myself for a man for him to love me. So there's, there's some nuances here. He's saying that I love you now. He's saying that he's being very clear, which is good. And, but then he's saying, Imagine us in the future if you work out a lot, and I think it's implied, and you lose weight. Then we will be one big, happy, healthy family. He's not using words like, I want you to be thin, or I want you to be different, but it, you know, it's pretty heavily implied. Who knows, though? 
And then we hear from Nicole, her saying, uh, "I want to get, I want to hear that again because it's a, it's a pretty definitive statement that I think is very healthy for her to, for her to th- feel. If, if that's how she feels, it's great for her to say that. If that's how she feels, not everyone feels this way. This is how she feels, and you should be allowed to say it, and you should be heard. So let's let's listen to it again. But in the future, well, I want like a happy and healthy family, okay? And our life will be great, okay?" I want to be healthy, but I don't think I need to change myself for a man for him to love me. Because if he loves me, he should love me for who I am. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm so glad that Nicole has the self-esteem to say that. And I, she's exhibited this attitude in other clips. It, it, and I was wondering if she had that very solid self-esteem and position about her rights as a human being. So th- I'm glad that she has that she has that sense of herself i don't know where she got that from uh maybe she just has it for herself but a lot of times uh, people will have to find those voices on the internet or find people around them that to help them to to feel like they have the ability to say such a thing so so she's modeling for a lot of people watching that it's okay to have the body that you have regardless of what sort of body you have if, if you're watching this you have the right to have the body that you have or the body that you want without anyone else imposing any kind of ideas on you about what you should look like or what you should be, particularly for people who are bigger and are, you know, just given a, a, a ton of inform- a ton of messages that they're lazy, that they're ugly, that they're disgusting, that they're, you know, not fully human, that they're dragging down the economy and all these other kinds of messages. It's it's really pervasive in our culture, and we have to change it. To be honest, it will be very hard, like for the first days. But one day in the future, you're gonna thank me. There's some stuff I wanted to change up, like to go to gym and like to not be lazy. And... I'm not lazy. Sometimes you are. Do you know what you're asking of me right now? I'm what? Do you know what you're asking from me right now? To go to gym and. And be healthy, and that's, and that's why I'm asking. If that doesn't happen, I'm not sure that I'm going to America. Okay, so there it is. Uh, who knows if it's between the lines of lose weight? I don't know. But he's saying that if you don't work out and you don't become healthy in, in his eyes, then I don't want to be with you, essentially, is what he's saying. So from Nicole's position, and I'm guessing she might say something along these lines, it's like, why did you start a relationship with me? Why did you ask me to marry you and then proceed to want to change me? I am who I am. Why didn't you tell me this on date one? By the way, if this relationship is going to last, you've got to change. Why would you spring this on me later? Why did you wait this long? If this is a deal breaker to you, fine. But why are you doing this to me now? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Why are you trying to change me? And so uh, she is in a dilemma right now, and I'm sure that's really hurtful to her. Let's watch that again. One day in the future, you're gonna thank me. There's some stuff I wanted to change up, like to go to gym and like to not be lazy. And... I'm not lazy. Right, that's what I wanted to react to, was that bit about her, him saying that she's lazy. What? She works full time. She is a single mom, and she raises a young child. What is lazy about that? It's just, it's uh, incredible. Sometimes you are. Do you know what you're asking of me right now? I'm what? Do you know what you're asking from me right now? To go to gym and, and be healthy, and that's, and that's what I'm asking. If that doesn't happen, I'm not sure that I'm going to America. Give me your hand. Let's go. Very strong. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now I'm sure you'll feel burning your legs. All your body will be like very burning. Okay? Nothing's going on with you. Just don't worry. Yeah, it seems clearly that he is trying to act like he is her personal trainer. I don't know if she asked for that, but that's that's what's happening. Like if me and my wife went to a gym, I don't think my wife would do that. <laughs> Or I would do that to her. We just sort of both independently work out. So he, he clearly is wanting to bone up on his skills 
or demonstrate his skills as a personal trainer. We haven't heard a definitive statement from Nicole yet as to whether or not she wants that or not. Maybe maybe we'll hear as we watch. Do you feel something in this place? How do you feel? How do you feel? It's okay, it's just burning. I don't want you to be lazy, you know. Nothing's going on with you, just think. That's what you're thinking. Okay, you can see. Okay, good, good. You see? Good, good, good. You see? You'll be fine, honey, okay? You know, when you work out real hard, sometimes it can be emotional, particularly if you haven't worked out in a while. So I'll give them that possibility in terms of, ah, it's just normal emotionality while you are working out. Maybe Nicole is working out some demons. I don't know. Having said that, it doesn't look like a consensual situation. It looks to me like Nicole feels like she has to do something and is putting herself through a lot of pain because she is trying to please him. And that is not fair and it's not okay. But I don't know, we'd have to hear from Nicole. Maybe she'll tell us. So for today, we finish. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Physically, I'm attracted to Nicole, but it's not like, just like, for example, 55%. Wow. What? Okay. So just like 55%, well, so what does that mean exactly? Let me think about that one. So obviously the worst interpretation is completely possible, which is that he thinks she's unattractive because uh, of the size of her body and he is wanting to change her. There's certainly a lot of things in line with that. He's definitely sending a lot of messages of he wants her to change. And that is going to be demoralizing for Nicole, for him to say that, on, especially on television, but to her face of just like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm 55% attracted to you. It's like, why did you start dating me? Why, why did this happen? Why am I in this situation? The other side of this that I will say, and it, I want to separate myself from what's going on here because this... It, the what I just said seems to fit what's happening. But in other situations, it, it's a bit of a myth and a bit of a fantasy that in relationships, you are 100% attracted to your partner 100% of the time. It just isn't likely. So it's, it's okay for people out there to at least internally to recognize that yeah, you're, you're not super attracted to your spouse anymore, or you are 55% attracted, or whatever reason. There's just a, or your libido is going down in general. It's okay. There's, we can acknowledge that we have varying libidos given different times, different people, and we still want to be in a relationship with that person. There are people who have very little libido and perhaps very little physical attraction in terms of lust attraction to their partner, and they're perfectly happy living the rest of their life with that person, having kids, raising a family, doing all those things. But in Western society and what I'm gonna call Seattle society, there's commonly a fantasy that in a relationship for, you know, throughout time, you know, 75 years of marriage, you're gonna be totally in love, totally infatuated, always having a good time, always a soulmate, best friends, always lustful, always attracted, 100%. Certainly that happens, and you know, I'm not going to say it doesn't happen. But when you get down to reality for a lot of people, there's fluctuating attraction, and that's okay. It doesn't mean the end of a relationship. It doesn't mean the relationship should end. It might mean the relationship should end if that's how you value things. But we should acknowledge that that happens. What do we do with that, though? Do we just announce it to our spouse? I'm only 55% attracted to you. So what do we do with that is a, is a big question uh, because they're, you know, what are we trying to accomplish? I think what he's trying to accomplish by saying he's 55% attracted to her is to try to get her to change, which is counter to ethics. He should have said that up front and she would have been able to say, well, if this relationship is about me changing, then I don't want to be in a relationship with you. Also, it is very hurtful to say such a thing to someone. And so 
let's see how they manage this one. But wow, I want to rewind it because I don't know if I caught it quite right. Listen, we'll be fine, honey, okay? It's good. So for today, we finished. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Physically, I'm attracted to Nicole, but it's not like, just like, for example, 55%. Hmm? Because I always want my wife to go to the gym, which might be healthy. So he keeps saying that phrase, and I don't know what he means by that. So he's saying that he would have lust, more lust for his wife, be more attracted to her if she goes to the gym and is healthy. I think most of us understand, particularly when he says physically attracted, I think most of us understand what he's saying. He wants her to be thinner. But we don't know that because he hasn't said that explicitly. Maybe it is just that she can keep the, I guess that would be the question that you would ask him is, okay, hypothetically, let's say she goes to the gym and is healthy. She eats healthy and she's heart healthy and all these other dimensions of health, but her body stays the same. How would you feel about that? Um, I would want to know his true answer to that because if he's like, oh, totally fine. I, I'm not, you know, sure, if she loses weight, that's great. But I, you know, what I'm really concerned about is being able to be in a relationship with someone who goes to the gym all the time because I'm, I'm, I'm really into going to the gym and I'm really into cardiovascular fitness and I'm really into muscle mass or whatever he is into. So I, I doubt that that's what he is thinking and that he is obscuring his desire for her to be thinner by using phrases like, I want you to go to the gym and be healthy. But I don't know. But are you attracted to me no matter what? I, I love you. Just please, let's go to the gym together. But are you attracted to me no matter what? Yeah, exactly. Great. Great, Nicole. She just asked the very question that I was wondering about, and he confirmed. He says yes. I, but he was very, he was very quick to follow it up with, yeah, I'm attracted to you, but you know, I want you to go to the gym. And then she's like, well, but are you, do you love me no matter what? He's like, yeah, exactly. I don't, it, it, it doesn't sound very convincing, but he has indicated other things that would say that he does love her no matter what. Uh, but I don't know. It certainly doesn't make one feel good to, I, what would I wish? I always want to ask that myself, like, what am I looking for? And, and typically when I'm thinking about what am I looking for is they are trying to ha have the happiest life possible as individuals and as, as a couple. So they are trying to build a good life and they're trying to be happy. And so when I'm saying, what am I looking for? I'm mostly trying to intuit what will make them the happiest uh, and the most functional that they can be. And really, the more functional you are, the more happy you are, the more life satisfaction you have, the more relationship satisfaction you have, the better self-esteem you have. So what am I looking for from Azan that will likely go in that direction based on the very li limited information that I've seen thus far? I would say that he could say something like, uh, Nicole, I, I want you to be healthy. What do I mean by healthy? Well, I want you to live a long time. I don't want you to die young if we're going to grow old together. I want you to be healthy so that you can sleep well and that you can have energy and that you can feel good about yourself. That's my wish for you. Of course, you don't have to do any of those things, but I'm concerned about you as my fiance and I want you to be healthy and I'm, and I'm really into health and I'm really into food and I'm really into working out. I'm not going to impose that on you. But I really want those things for you. So, so I really want that. Uh, that's what health is to me. Again, I just want to bring back to the fact that she doesn't have to change for anyone. And I want to bring back to the fact that why did you start dating her? And why did you ask her to marry you if you were like, well, I'll ask her to marry me now. But I definitely want her to be different in the future. That's just, that's just unfair to do to someone. I mean, just imagine you're 10 years into a relationship and suddenly your spouse just turns to you and says, you know what? If you had a different body, I would love you more. I mean, just imagine how that would feel. It's like, my body? Well, what do you mean? And it's horrible. So this is what I'm looking for, is I would pull Azan aside and I'd be like, dude, we have to sift through some things right now. 
What do you want? What do you mean by health? Are you attra- Are you willing to live with her the way that she is the rest of her life? Because uh, the way that she is, because she seems to be saying she doesn't. She's not super into changing. She's saying she might want to change, but she's not super dedicated to changing. And she is happy with who she is in some ways, and and maybe in a lot of ways. And so, what's going on with you right now? What what? And let's sift through what is ethical in a relationship to to propose to your partner in terms of health and change, and what is really unfair to impose on another human being. All right, well, that does it for that episode of Psychology in Seattle. If you haven't yet already, please subscribe below, hit the bell, like, comment below, become a patron on Patreon, and please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.